Now, we all know that Joker is coming to Smash. I cannot contain my excitement for this character enough to a point where I wanted to make a video dedicating to what I believe will be possibly Joker's moveset. Probably not 100%, but it's very likely I've been doing some research on the actual game, his animations, stuff of that nature to see what is going to be most likely his moveset going to Smash. And I'll be very happy to see if at least like maybe 75% of my guesses will be correct once gameplay comes out of him showing his moveset. So we have to wait and see, but let's just speculate. So without further ado, cue the intro. Now let's get started with the easiest one, I think. It's gonna be the final smash. It has to be either the all out attack, which I'm really thinking it's gonna be, or the summoning of Satanayo, which is Joker's ultimate persona. While the summoning of Satanayo would be cool, I believe the best bet is to go with the all out attack because so much more iconic. And like I said, Satanayo is the ultimate final form of Joker persona, and it comes late game as well. So not a lot of people who probably saw Persona 5 but never really beat it, you know what I mean? Wait, Bro. He went alone to the game awards? Huh? But Ryuji? He's so far away. Why is he there? Homegirl Ann, okay. There's only one thing the Phantom Thieves of Heart specializes in. My nigga Morgana. He's there to steal a treasure. Nani? You already sent a calling card? Who's that? Who's that? Who's that? Really, nigga? When Joker got revealed in the trailer, we also heard Ryuji and Yusuke Morgana in the trailer. So that gives me more credible evidence that the final smash will have to be the all out attack. And honestly, I prefer this way because we get to possibly see all the other Phantom Deeds and 3D character models. That'd be so amazing just to see all of them in the final smash. Kind of like what Krom does for Robin in his final smash. He appears as an assist. We're gonna have all the Phantom Deeds just appear at once and just have a colossal all out attack. That would be very amazing and a great homage to Persona 5 itself. So with the final smash out of the way, let's move into the B moves. With Joker's Neutral B, it has to be a gun, most likely, because the gun in Persona 5 is like one of the most essential things in a party member's kit. So I can see definitely Joker using a gun to space out or, you know, like attack from a distance and whatnot. I pretty much have a zoning tool there. So definitely a gun. You can just shoot like a couple bullets here and there. I'm not sure if they go that route, if they will have like ammunition because you couldn't overdo it. In Persona 5, there was like a, a limit to it. But since it's Smash, maybe they won't go that route. You know, they'll probably just have him just have a, a gun with infinite ammo, but just like a cooldown or whatever. So we'll see how that's going to happen. Joker side B could possibly be his sneak up attack. Basically going behind enemies, sneak up on them, ambush them, this, that, and the other. With Joker being... The trickster he has to have some moves that can pretty much fool the opponent you know what i mean like have some mitts ups potential i can see his side b having uh a mechanic where he can sneak up like a cross up and have some mitts up potential as well you know to fit the motif of him being the trickster that he is because he is joker his up b uh it's a little bit for doozy <laughs> to be honest with you but at the same time this is smash and it wouldn't be the first where sakurai would make a move entirely new for a character like have you ever seen mario using back air in any other games you know what i mean so with joker i can see his up b either being a leap that he does in higher platforming or maybe even having arsene being summoned to use his wings to propel joker up that'd be pretty interesting for joker's down b i think the down shot should be his down B because granted his neutral B will be the gun but with his down B it would be like kind of like Zersu Samus with her down B she basically has a aerial mobility thing so it can kind of be like that but in this case with Joker he's leaping up into the sky while shooting down at the opponent with the down shot and I think that would be pretty cool and I think it should have like maybe a sweet spot or a sour spot to where if you get if you land a sweet spot it would be critical and you get the most optimized damage out of it and you get the sour spy it won't be as much damage so i think that'd be pretty cool the next one should be the most simplest of ones should be the most obvious it has to be the jab it's going to be the one two three hit combo that 
well goddamn new york can i have <laughs> i'm sorry it has to be the one two three hit combo that joker does in his melee animation with his weapon or knife whatever have you just slash 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 it has to be it's perfect it's it's a three hit combo and most jabs in this game revolves around three hit combos so it has to be that now we're gonna go into the tilts you know, I, I really don't know what these tilts are going to be, but my guess would be the up tilt would be like an upward slash, kind of like Robin's, uh, down tilt, downward slash, like Robin's again, and side tilt, sideways slash, or maybe even a kick. Uh, basically tools for Joker to space out if he needs, you know, some space to control and whatnot. But again, I don't know for sure what his tilt's going to be, honestly. We're just going to have to wait and see until he finally comes out. We're going to go into the meat of this. It's the smash attacks. The smash attacks is basically the meat, the bread and butter of the characters. This is where our sin is going to shine. It has to be in his smash attacks. And before I even get into the moves, I think it'd be really cool if like, you know how you can charge your smash and you see the animation about to come. With Joker, you can have him like during the animation be like about to summon his persona like he does when he's switching personas. You see him in this animation where he's holding the mask and all that stuff. I think that would be pretty cool, like a good attention to detail kind of thing. Just aesthetically, it would be pretty damn cool. Uh, anyways, forward smash, I can see it being Arsene's Aya. You know, this is this is a term where I don't understand the pronunciation. I actually went to Google Translate to see how to pronounce it, but I don't know. I'm just going by what it what it's spelled like. I'm assuming it's Aha, but anyways, it's Arsene's light curse attack that he has when you first get him. I think it would be the safest route to have Arsene's Aha or curse attack, whatever you want to call it, <laughs> to be the forest master joker. Down smash. Uh, a little bit of a doozy with this one, but I think it can happen. I can see Arsene's down smash definitely being his wings. Basically, he shoots wind out of his wings, but it's kind of weird because if you play the game, you would never see wind, a wind skill for Arsene. Granted, you can put winds. You can put any skill, rather, on any persona in this game with customization, but we're going off the base persona. But we have seen in this cutscene in the game that Arsene uses his wings to blow enemies away from him so I can still see that being implemented up smash honestly I really don't know but let's just say Arsene uses his damn legs because he got some long ass legs why not put them to use you know what I mean so I can see Arsene maybe using his legs to have a, a big ass kick sending the opponent upward to the sky with the up smash I, I think that'd be pretty fitting and cool for Joker's aerials now, up there, I can see it being like an upwards aerial slash, kind of like Robin's a little bit maybe. Back air could be, this one's a little bit like uh, a reach to be honest with you. When you have Joker in mind, you know how over the board he is when it comes to, you know, like doing whatever when he's being a phantom deep, you know, he's leaping off of fucking everything, you know what I mean? And he's spinning and I can just imagine Joker just spinning like he could he can spin in his animation and then and then out of his spinning he does a like a spinning back kick you know like he uses the spinning to propel him for more force and then have a big ass back kick you know sending uh, opponents backwards or whatever i think that'd be pretty cool and really just crazy but it fits joker you know it could be that but it could be different but that's just my assumption down air can be a diving kick and this one can also have a sweet spot that can spike or sour spot it can be kind of like um richter's dive kick thing uh i can see that happening like joker just diving down at the opponent's head and if it spikes he will leap off of the opponent's head back to safety but if a sour spot you know he might sdi whatever i don't know but i really think it should revolve around something that involves joker's agility Definitely. Uh, I feel like Joker's forward air should be probably an aerial slash with a knife, but forward, you know, no nothing too crazy, maybe. And now we're gonna go into his grabs. His back grab is the I'll reveal your true form grab, basically. He goes from behind and he clenches his hand on the opponent's face to seem like he's ripping it but then it, it just propels him back that'd be pretty damn cool and, and it'd be really cool to see that on every you know every character in the game you can see joker doing that shit to like mario it would be like i'll reveal your true form that'd be so cool next up in his list of grabs will be his forward grab 
I think this will just be a normal launch. I can see Joker using one hand, you know, still on the face, but just pretty much just drawing the fuck out of the opponent. That would be pretty hilarious to see. Uh, if Joker's down grab, I can see being akin to Robin's one, where he just pretty much bounces you off the ground and you can do some follows after it. Pretty basic, I know. And admittedly, it's just because I don't really know because Joker, outside of just grabbing people from behind and shit in this game, I don't really know what his down grab would be, but I would assume that it's a down grab that can possibly lead into some nasty ass setups. And the last grab being the up grab can possibly be him launching the opponent up a kick, uh, something simple to possibly uh, set up for a punish and whatnot. And last, but certainly not least, is his dash attack. We all know in Persona 5 when you do dungeons, you have Joker and his Phantom Ds able to run and sprint if you hold the R2 button. With that in mind, Joker's run animation should be similar to that. And when he's attacking while dashing, it could be Joker possibly sliding in. A sliding kick, kind of like Bayonetta side B, I can see that. And maybe it could lead up to more follow-ups where it launches, but most likely or not, it would just be a simple uh, dash attack that he can just uh, knock the opponent away for. With that said, that's my entire Joker moveset concept that I feel will most likely be the moveset of this character. Some attacks may not be, I'm pretty sure there's going to be some attacks that I guess wrong, but I hope that at least 75% of what I guess is actually accurate, but we have to wait and see until Joker finally comes out. I just can't wait for this character, I'm extremely excited. Just the fact that a Persona character is in Smash, is it's a godsend. This is something that I can only see in like modding. But this is actually happening and it's just like, what the fuck, you know? But I'm, I'm just so happy. I really am excited. And yeah, I just can't wait to see how Joker's going to play in Smash Bros Ultimate. That's it for me, I hope you enjoyed this video. If there are any theories or possible ideas that you think could be implemented in Joker's moveset, feel free to comment below. Make sure to follow me on Twitter. I'm very active on Twitter and whatnot. You're going to see a lot of shit that I normally don't post on YouTube on Twitter. So I highly recommend that you follow me on Twitter. And yeah, I'll catch you guys later. Peace out.